Hello, I'm WBC TV meteorologist Barry Burbank. I've got your forecast for today and the next several days. Looking at the tropics, of course, we're still looking at Lane way out affecting Hawaii. Main, all of the islands being impacted by this one. It looks like it's going to be heading right towards Honolulu, but it's going to make a sharp left turn. Nevertheless, they'll be sideswiped with a wind, not hurricane force winds, but big, big waves and lots of rain there. But let's go from the Pacific to the Eastern Pacific into the Atlantic Basin, and there's absolutely nothing out there and nothing coming up for a while. Maybe nothing, not much all this season because of the very cool water or cooler than average water that exists down in the main development region. Well, Boston's had 16 days so far this season of 90 degrees, and it looks like we're going to add three more the first half of next week. Could be up to 19 days. We've only had one minor heat wave in Boston so far this season. That's kind of remarkable because we've had so much hot weather. But in any event, that's what it is along the coast at Logan Airport. Sometimes you get these sea breezes that, that cut down these number of 90-degree days. No 90-degree days today. It'll be mainly around 84 for an afternoon high. At the beaches dropping back just a tad. High pressure's coming across and moving to the east over the weekend, protecting us and giving us wonderful weather. Although a weakening system coming in from the west could cut crank out a few isolated thunderstorms on Sunday, but primarily the biggest risk would be across northern New England out of that, and I would doubt that too many come down into southern sections. But the dew points are going to be climbing after a very refreshing day yesterday and one this morning. They'll gradually climb up, so we'll start to feel the humidity a little bit more by late Sunday and definitely notice it on the beginning of next week as it turns oppressive again. Great beach and boating weather this weekend. The seas will be rather slight. Uh, the wind will be not that strong. The tides will be high around midday. We'll have still warm water out there. And the other thing this weekend is the bright night. The moonrise is coming up. It will be happening at 647 today, 721 tomorrow, and 752 on Sunday. So you can see this beautiful moon rising as long as we don't have too much smoke in the atmosphere to cut down on the brightness of the moon. It may be kind of a hazy moon. Actually, it might be a colorful moon if we get some of that haze still around. So it's the full green corn moon, as they call it. And the Cape and the Islands forecast looks divine today, tomorrow, and Sunday. And even next week, when it's very hot elsewhere, it's going to be in the 80s on the Cape next week. And the lakes and mountains will be going up there for camping, hiking, climbing, boating, golfing, whatever. It's going to be in the 80s there this weekend. It looks just great for the lakes and mountains region. So it is for seven days ahead. We've got uh, nothing but sunshine of almost all these days. We're going to go into sort of a dry spell here in terms of the amount of rain because the chance of a thunderstorm on Sunday is, is small, and we may not have any thunderstorms next week. So that's the way it looks as we go into heat wave conditions Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I hope you have a happy and safe weekend.